Welcome back viewers. When I originally installed Manjaro on my Pinebook Pro, I don't recall configuring a swap file. A swap file is typically used when you want to hibernate your system as a place to write what's in your RAM to disk. It's also used when you run out of RAM um, as a place to, to write to disk to, to handle that overflow. Uh, if you don't have a swap file on your system, typically hibernate doesn't work and when you run out of RAM, and heavy usages, your system could crash. Um, the way I plan to use my Pinebook Pro, I'm pretty positive I'm gonna need a swap file. So first thing we need to do is we need to check to see if a swap file is actually enabled on our system. To do that, we can hit Alt Space to open KRunner, and then we can type in console to open our terminal. Once our terminal is open, we can type cat, slash proc mem info and then we're going to pop that to grip and then capital swap period the period is part of a regular expression that means anything after that we'll hit enter and we'll see here that we have uh, no swap being used and there's actually no swap at all it's zero kilobytes so to enable swap if we hop over to our browser. I have the Manjaro wiki pulled up with instructions. I will include these links down in the description. And it says here that we can allocate a swap file four gigs in size to match the size of our memory. Um, and then we need to uh, set the permissions and then enable our swap file. And then the last thing you want to do is you want to put your swap file in your FS tab. So when your system boots, your swap file gets added in as an entry um, to your system. Doing a little research um, before I just go start running commands, I stumbled across this blog post here by Unusually Pink. And inside of here, uh, there's lots of talk and discussion. And basically they ran into an issue where they needed to, uh, instead of using F allocate command to create their swap file, they need to use DD. And so that led me to do a little bit of research on that. And I ended up here on Ask Ubuntu where they basically start talking about whether you should be using F allocate or DD. And the general consensus seems to be that you need to use the DD command to do this. The DD command can be dangerous. So make sure that you double check it and you type it um, correctly. So we're going to do that. We're going to follow along here with the Manjaro wiki. But this first step right here, we're going to substitute in the DD command that is recommended in the other blog post. So we're going to open up our terminal and move it over here so we can see our commands. Uh, let's clear our console. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to create our swap file. So we're going to do a sudo dd if equals slash dev slash zero of equals slash swap file. And the count's going to be 4096. So that's going to be our four gigabytes. And then we're going to say our block size here, which some people will say this command doesn't really do much, but that BS is block size. Um, I may be wrong on that one. If, if I am, please let me know. And we're going to hit enter. And this uh, command can take a little bit of time because it is actually carving out a four gig contiguous file on your eMMC. And we know that eMMC storage is not the fastest. Um, so this command can take a while. Um, it's not that it's slow. So it's complete now. And with that done, we can go on to our next command, which is sudo uh, mk swap swap file. We're going to get this permissions issue here, that's okay, because we're about to fix that with our next command. So we'll type sudo a chmod urw and then swap file. And now that we have our permission set up correctly, we can turn swap on. Okay. And last but not least, and I'll need to move my terminal over here a little bit, um, is we need to add this to our FS tab. And so we'll do that 
with sudo bash echo swap file none swap defaults zero zero and then let me see if s tab okay that commands complete so one thing we should do is we should check our fs tab to make sure that uh, it was actually written there and we can see here that we have our second line let me highlight that for you here showing that we in fact do have our swap file added of course it's not centered with the rest of the the line above you can do that if you something that bothers you um, so now that we've done all these commands, uh, the one last thing we need to do is we need to run our original proc command. So if we cat proc mem info and we pop grip swap period, you can see here that it now shows up that our total swap uh, is um, our four gigs that we allocated. So at this point, you now have a swap file. Um, if you want to install something like htop, you can run htop and htop will show you that uh, you have four gig swap file right here in this area. And that's it. That is how you add a swap. Well, this is how you check to see if you have a swap file and if you don't, how to add one. I hope you found this useful. If you like these videos, uh, please subscribe to the channel. I plan on doing plenty more around the Pinebook Pro. Uh, if you would like to offer any support, you can check out the Buy Me A Coffee link um, down in the description. And uh, if, if you like this video, uh, then please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.